Counseling Micro Skills Reflecting Feelings with Gina Coe and Sandra Collins. Sandra, last week we were talking more and more about allyship and again your your desire and your motivation to become you know even a greater and impactful ally. Providing transparency, overviewing. So is it okay if we continue um, that the conversation this session? Checking perceptions. Yeah, that would be great. Okay. So after we talked last time. What were some uh, some emotions, some feelings around this particular topic? Questioning. I have a lot of feelings around it, actually. I'm angry on the one hand when I look at what's going on in the world, and when I, and in particular when I, um, when I'm in contexts where people should know better. You know, like I, I, I'm. I'm impatient about um, how slowly I see things moving and I'm impatient about the pushback that I'm seeing. So there's that. Then, then I'm having these really lovely conversations with um, uh, people who I'm working with in the development of a new um, resource with Melissa J. And and every time I have those conversations, I'm really pumped and enthusiastic. And, you know, my times with you, my times with Melissa, I feel really um, encouraged and excited about the possibilities. Um, so there's that emotion. May, can we pause here for a bit, Sandra? Providing transparency. Because I'm hearing on the one hand, on the one side, there's anger and impatience, right? And on the other side, you said you're pumped and you're enthusiastic, you're excited, right? Paraphrasing. So is it okay if I would delve a little bit into anger? Providing transparency. Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so for you, um, Sandra, right now in your life, what would you say is the, 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 the purpose of anger? How come anger? questioning uh i think it's motivating i'm not i'm not actually really good at emotional anger i'm better at cognitive at anger in my head mm, okay. um, so i don't really hold on to i don't really hold on to anger as a as like a embodied feeling in the same way as i have this sort of um more intellectual anger or cognitive anger. I don't know how I mean, about that. that. Yeah. Probing. Well, I think it kind of shifts. So I so something happens and I feel that kind of uh, like that, you know, more embodied anger. And then um, but I don't actually stay in that place very long. And and so maybe that's where it becomes a motivator for me. It becomes more of a it becomes more of a indignation maybe mm. you know, so from an emotional anger to an indignation which is for me a little bit more in my head yeah does it help you take action then does it help you do clarifying yeah so i think i hold i think i i choose almost to hold on to some of that anger um yeah because it is a motivating factor. Um, but there is, when I when we talk about it now, there is still this sort of probably less helpful to me um, gut reaction. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's, I yeah, it's kind of, this kind of just sits there a lot. Of, and then it gets, you know, poked at by various things. Yeah. And then when you say, Gut reaction. Can you describe that more? What what's what are some sensations? I guess if you can inviting embodiment, like weight. It's weighty. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, weighty, kind of unsettled. When you say weighty and unsettled. Yeah, I, I, I imagine, I don't know why I imagine like a swamp. Co-creating language. I just imagine like lo lots of hmm. stuff in the bottom and, and it's, it's, yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. Reflecting feeling. 
It, swamp is an interesting word. I like that <laughs> word because it is kind of like, you know how the thing I, I immediately thought about how you kind of get your feet stuck in a swamp, you know? Oh. And so it's sort of, and so that's the part of the anger, I guess, that's not as motivating because I'm, is it kind of, well, as you say that, when you say your feet are stuck in the swamp, I, I'm also imagining you're trying to get it out, trying to, you, the, you, yeah. the indignation, you're trying to free yourself from the swamp. Yeah. Reflecting, feeling. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's interesting because when I think about the swamp, I also think about, okay, under anger then is sort of probably disillusionment or mm -hmm. um maybe paralysis paralysis is a pretty it, it's it's pretty heavy that's a pretty big word reflecting feeling mm -hmm. yeah like you can't move the stuckness right reflecting feeling for a time as you said because you don't stay there right sandra no no i don't stay there how does it what, what, what helps you not stay there what helps you move forward from there I think it's the shifting the anger into my mind, yeah. out of my body and kind of into my mind. And then it becomes more that mm -hmm. um, indignation, the which is motivating to kind of move forward. Austin Channing Brown, in her book, she writes about creative anger, you know, mm -hmm. channels. So she's, she's a Black American author. I, I, I adore and I'm inspired by her. And she, she says she channels the anger so that's to something creative which in her case it was her book summarizing yeah and great. That's great yeah i like that creative anger. yeah that's interesting mm -hmm. 